Good morning. It is very cold. Alexa, what's the temperature? Right now, it's 5 degrees Celsius. It's 5 Today, degrees. Expect a higher 14 degrees. Enjoy the good weather. Thanks. Really, I mean it. It's 5 degrees. It's freezing. It's too cold to resin, so we're going to resin anyway. I have resin sitting in a bath of warm water here, but that's as far as I've got. I have no plan. The only thing I do know is I want to make some more little tiny crystals, but I want to make mixing resin worth my time in this temperature. So we're going to go through my silicone molds and we're going to find something that we want to make. That one. This one. Okay. We have a lot to work with, so let us start going through and see what we can find. We're going to start with this toolbox here, which is normally all of my smaller-ish moulds. But the last time I organised this, they're already mixed up. So let's have a look and see what we've got. Okay. Okay, we have various keycap moulds. No, not today. What else have we got? Little bathtub moulds, coaster moulds, a little planter mould. I haven't made this one yet. Let's make this one. What else have we got? Lots of things we've seen before. Planter moulds and coaster moulds, really. Okay, well... That... I guess is that for this box. Let's see what else we can find in the other box. Okay, we have a long tray coaster, got some incense burner moulds which I haven't used yet. What else have we got? Let's see. We have chakra stone moulds, we used that in the last video. Can't use that one, that's an upcoming video. Got some more dice molds. Got these adorable little teddy bear molds, which are cute, but I have used these a couple of times and they don't, they're so textured on the inside that when you use just clear resin, it's not clear, it's frosted. It's not really what I'm going for. Got a, another palette mold. This is an upcoming video. We've got some pendant molds. Ooh, we got a dice box. We haven't made a dice box yet. We've made plenty of dice, but I haven't made a dice box. Let's do that. What else have we got? Let's see. I've got a dragon egg, but I don't have deep pour resin yet, so we're not gonna do that. So I think dice box. Little planter, and I've already got these little crystal molds out, so I'll use these as well. I think, I think that'll do us. All right, that's what we'll make. Okay, so now that we have our molds chosen, so we have a dice box mold which has the base and the lid. We've got that. We have this tiny little planter. 
which I guess a few drill holes in the bottom could be used for succulents. And we've got these little crystal molds. We now need to decide what are we going to colour it with. Are we going to go mica? Are we going to go alcohol ink? So the next thing we have to do is get out the box of colourants and inclusions and decide what we're going to colour it with. So I'll grab that. Here we go. Rightio, let's see what we've got. Okay, so we have temporary tattoos. Mm, no. Instructions. More temporary tattoos, not really. Okay. Glitter. In my experience, it always sinks to the bottom. What else have we got? But all of these inclusions should bring you down a bit more. There we go. I've got these inclusions. No, not really. We've got some foil. And we've just got a lot of mica. Oh, we've got some little flowers. Will they fit in the side of this? No. Okay, so for this one, I'm thinking this mica. This kind of dark emeraldish green. It's called power green mica. I think for this one we'll use this and then any leftover resin from this we can put in the little crystal moulds. So that's those sets of moulds decided. Now this. We could do a dirty pour. Which is when you have your resin, you make it up a singular colour. Then you put drops of alcohol ink and you don't mix it in and then you just pour it and it kind of makes a marble effect. That might be interesting. So I'm going to do, I think I'll do a dirty pour on this one. So I'll do a white base and let's see, white base, doo -doo -doo. white base, some copper as one of the marble effects and some black. Right. So now we have our colourways decided, we can actually get to mixing resin. Okay, first things first is PPE. So we need our respirator. We need our gloves. Okay, so the first batch of resin I think we'll do the dice box and then the next one we mix up we can do the little planter and gems okay now the resin I use is Nick Pro Nick Pro epoxy resin it mixes one to one by volume not weight because part A and part B have different densities and therefore way different. So it's by volume, not by weight. I always mix for five minutes with a timer and then it will still get further mixed when I add in the alcohol inks. So right, let's get ready for our first one, which is the dice box. Now for the colours we're going to drop on, we're going to use Pinata Mantilla Black and Pinata Copper alcohol inks for the drops. But for the main body of colour, we're going to use one of the best opaque whites I've come across, which is Pinata Blanco Blanco, which is going to be the main body colour. These will be the veiny colours. Okay respirator on and this is when I go into voiceover mode
So we managed uh, to get a dirty poor dice box, we got a little planter, our crystals, and we managed to get some baby dragons out of this. So we're going to let this set 24 to 48 hours because it will take longer because it is colder than a penguin's bum hole. And then we'll unmold. So let's just let these set. Okay, it's the next day. Yes, I am still wearing the same jersey. It's cozy and it's still cold. So we're going to unmold everything. So I'll bring you down for a closer look. I've got everything underneath this white tub. It stops my kids from poking and going, what's that? Okay. It's just the silicone cup. The kids will fight over who gets to peel that, so I'll put that aside. Okay, let's start with the baby dragons. Okay, we have... Oh, this one's still a little bit soft, but I guess it can sit a bit longer. One half of a baby dragon. the half of a baby dragon and then they get glued together okay the other baby dragon it's a baby dragon we've seen already on this channel this color looks really nice it's got a kind of um swirly matte kind of look to it got those two baby dragon halves let's go to the little crystal gems oh look like little emeralds that's gorgeous ah, 
So how's your day been so far? It's Saturday here. So, and it's winter so it's cold and everyone's indoors. That's nice. They do kind of have an iridescent sparkliness to them. They kind of look transparent, but at the same time really opaque. It's kind of a glittery depth to the mica that it's given these. It's kind of nice. If you can hear the kids in the background, they are all playing. Right, let's move on to the little planter, that's what it is. Oh, that's quite a bit thinner than what I thought. Okay, the resin is still a little bit soft, I guess, because it's been so cold, but it's cured enough that I can take it out of the mould. It's not going to deform. Got a lovely glossy finish to it. All right, the dice box. Now, one of these is the lid. That's uh, this piece. So this is the lid. Let's. Now I haven't used this mold yet, but my brother has used it before, and he said it looked really good. So, and this is the first time I've done a dirty pour on something so big. I did do a dirty pour on. When I made some gems just to test to see whether I had the technique down. Oh, cool! Look at that! That is so neat! It's the lid, and that's what it looks like on the inside. That's so cool. We'll do close-ups and of everything. Oh, look at the sides of this one. Isn't that cool? Right. Isn't that cool in this piece? Close together like that. That is brilliant. just so amazing this would make an amazing gift okay I guess we'll let everything sit a little bit more and then I'll glue these dragons together and then we'll do some awesome close-ups so I'll go ahead and do that
I just realized I forgot to record an outro so thank you for watching me resonating without a plan and I hope you like what we came up with I have a plan of what I'm going to use the two little baby dragons for um but yeah thank you I had a lovely time please like comment subscribe share this video with your friend share it with your nan call your grandpa and say hey and I'll see you in the next video bye